Hello there. It's me MD, with you here, on Saskiano. And here we are again with a new After Effects tutorial. Today if you are interested to know about starting a new project in Adobe After Effects, this is the best place to be. So stay tuned. Now, if you want to follow along with me, in this tutorial, I am working with the After Effects project file. UFO, Part 2 Project. You will find this project file with the media associated with this tutorial. You can download it from the link down below in the description box. After downloading the project file, just double click on it to open it in After Effects. Now, we're going to use After Effects to create a convincing UFO flyby video. That's designed to look like handheld footage shot with a cell phone. Once we've launched Adobe After Effects, we'll see the start screen. And what does a lot of important stuff? We're going to start from scratch with a blank project, which is After Effects default. So we can just close it. First things first. We need to add some footage to our blank project. Under File menu, choose Import and choose File. Then browse to your media file. Then select the footage. And click Import. File Import works of course, but there are lots of ways to do things in After Effects. And a quicker way is to simply double click on the project panel to open up the import dialog box. Or if you have your footage window open in your finder or explorer like I have here, we can also simply drag elements from their folder into the project panel. Whichever way you choose, make sure import background 4K, corn moon, lamp post, UFO, and UFO audio. Clicking on each element reveals important information at the top of the project panel. Background is a 4K video clip shot at 24 frames per second. Corn Moon is 1280 by 720 at 2997 frames per second. Lamp Post is an Adobe Photoshop file with transparency. And UFO is this simple 3D model created in Cinema 4D and exported as a QuickTime animation file with transparency. One way to tell if an element has transparency is the description includes millions of colors plus. The plus usually indicates an alpha channel, which is used for transparency. We can also double-click any element to open it in the clip viewer, where we can play back the clip with the space bar. And click on the checkerboard at the bottom here to confirm that this element is in fact on a transparent background. And the last clip is our audio file. In After Effects, we do our design work using compositions. Making one as easy as selecting the menu item. Using its associated shortcut, which you can see in the menu. Or in our case, we're going to create a new composition. By selecting our background 4K element. 
and dragging it onto our comp icon at the bottom of the project window. The one that looks like a little film frame. You'll notice quite few things have changed on screen. A new item has shown up in the project panel. Name the same as our background layer. Click it and see the new composition heritage, the size and the frame rate of the clip we just dragged on the comp icon. Which is perfect for our project. If we want to rename the comp. So it's more distinctive in the project panel. We can select it. Press enter on the keyboard and edit it. Or you can right click on it and choose rename. In my case, I'll get rid of the 4K. At the end. In addition, we now have a comp window here. Which is where we can see the results of our work. And a timeline where we control animation, navigate time, and stacking order, among other things. Like most other Adobe apps, there are a lot of panels available to us, some of them visible by default, and others accessible through the window menu. One panel that will use it again and again is the preview panel, which contains playback controls, so we can check our work in full motion. You can also initiate playback by tapping the space bar. As long as the comp window, or the timeline window, is active when you do. Panels can be docked together in tab groups. For this project, the important panels to have open are the ones I've mentioned so far. As well as the Effects and Presets panel. And the Info panel. These should all be open by default unless you've loaded another workspace or otherwise modified things if they aren't visible you can just reload the standard workspace or if you don't want to do that you can choose them individually from the window menu make sure they're all open and available and you're ready to start working on our ufo project And now here we go, we are done for today. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. See you next time in a new tutorial. And if you want to learn more about After Effects, take a look here on the channel, we have a lot of tutorials. And if you are interested about Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, in design, take a look to our first channel, Everything PS. You will find its link down below in the description box. Goodbye.